Are you after a kitchen? Joe McIntyre? Yeah. Rick Nealon. Hi. Is there a is there a kitchen in there? Uh not right now. But business is ticking over. It's looking up for a recession. Good. Excellent. A relief, I suppose. You're never sure in my business how good a risk you're taking. What business is that then? Debts. I've bought yours. Just pop round to discuss your repayment structure. So how much is it I supposedly owe you? On this particular debt, and I wouldn't rule out me purchasing further debts, it's just shy of nine grand. Who do I owe nine grand to? Me. Who did you buy the debt off? Northern Kitchen Supplies. <laughs> Len Windass's pals. Two grand max. Plus interest. And more interest. And if you keep me hanging about, there'll be more on top of that. You're a rip-off merchant. <laughs> you're the one borrowing money and not paying it back. So you're a loan shark. That's the bottom line. I hate that term. It gives people the wrong idea. Our outfit provides a valuable public service. Now, have you got cash? Or do we have to strip the place? If you don't leave, I'm calling the police. You want rid? Pay me. I don't have nine grand. Tally there, worth a ton. Fifty for the sofa. Soon mounts up. Don't belong to me. You live here? No, I don't. I've been watching you for days. This is my fiancé's house. You getting married? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you bought an engagement ring yet? No. Pity. Price of precious metal's gone through the roof. Hello. Ah, oh, got held up. Won't be long. Yeah, yeah. S see you in a minute. That the lucky lady? Yeah. Right. You think I'm a right dodgy so-and-so, don't you? Yeah. But I'm not. I'm actually very considerate. I waited till fiancé went out, save your blushes. But if I have to come back, it'll be in the evening, when you're all sitting round for your tea. And next time, I won't be on my own. OK, I'll get your money. When? Tomorrow. I can't leave here empty-handed, Joe. I need at least a down payment. I know something you can give me. We're booking at eight grand last time I checked. Mileage? Thirty. Taxed and tested. Full service history, one previous owner. One useless present owner. Any outstanding finance? I'll give you five grand for it. Oh, you must be joking. <sighs> but that's it, right? You take my van where quits. You don't come near my house again. Oh, Joe, you bounce back. Be a nice little boat, this, if you spend some money on it. I have nothing left to give you. I wonder if my kids are old enough for a boat. I don't know. Christmas, eh? One, one, one. Now, if the people who owed me money would just pay up. How do I do that? You've already bled me dry. To cash in a few more of your assets, then. You know the definition of a boat? All in the water, surrounded by wood, into which you pour endless piles of cash. It's fiberglass. Only I wouldn't have thought you could afford luxuries like this. What with your debt doubling as of today? Ah, no, hang on. That's what happens when you miss your payments. And it only gets worse. Let's make sure you don't miss next week, eh? See ya. So, as you can see, there's um, plenty of room. Yeah. Do you have children? Yeah. Two, boy and a girl. Well, it's a lovely house to bring a family up in. Hello. Hope you don't mind, your wife said I could have a look around. Oh, we're not married. Uh, just engaged. Very nice. Must have cost a bit. Well, uh, not, not that much. We decided it was better spending it on a wedding. Did you now? Well, if you're done. 
He's not seen the kitchen yet. Joe made this himself. It's his profession. I know. Oh? Well, I mean, you can tell. You don't get this finished from a DIYer. So, are you planning to move far? We don't know yet. But we're perfectly happy to sell before we buy. Anyway, if you've seen enough. I think so, yeah. Well, I hope you'll be in touch. I'm sure I will. What the hell do you think you're playing at? Just thought I'd let you know I'm keeping an eye on you. I hope you're not thinking of doing a runner. No, we're selling it to raise enough money to pay you back. Well, in that case, I hope you sell soon. Only there's a nice jag I've got my eye on. <laughs> you can get them really cheap now the recession's hit. Every cloud, eh? <laughs> Seems like a nice man. Wouldn't it be fantastic if you bought it? Oh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. By the way, my man knows about us. And? Sean promises me this fabulous New Year's Eve in this club, right? Full of fit fellas, he said. Gay club. Yeah. When will I learn? You got a lot of attention, though, he said. Oh, ah, yeah. Never left alone. Half of them thought I were a drag queen. Other half thought I were Diana Ross <laughs> tribute act booked for midnight. <gasps> I'll be fuming. What did you do? Chain reaction. <laughs> Twice. And then all the bits I remembered from Ain't No Mountain High Enough finished off with split. You never did. Well, we're that bladdered by then. I tell you what, I don't care what they say about them gays. They know how to enjoy themselves, given oh, yeah. that. Dad? Uh, I think it's starting to rain. Oh, £2.50. See ya. See ya. Oh, is it for Friday? Uh, I think so. Her Sarah's cancelled. Bethany's ill. Oh. oh, shame. But at least Nick's coming. You need me to do anything? Uh, I don't think so. Gail's got it pretty much sorted. Listen, you can have a look at them cabinets, could you, in the flat? One of the keys and sticking. Yeah, of course. Um, any chance of a cuppa first? I'm, I'm parched. Of course, yeah. And then you can tell me all about how Friday is going to be the most magical day of your life. <laughs> oh, and uh, one of the work tops has come loose as well. Uh, you criticised them, my craftsmanship. Well, I won't have to once it's <laughs> Still no regrets about becoming a property dealer then? It's been a bit stressful. Well, they do say you should never mix business with pleasure. No, me and Jace are fine. Money's tight, but we'll be okay once we sell the place. Mm, I know what you mean. Mm. See you later then, yeah? Bye, love. Bye. You've been avoiding me. Get your hands off me. Get out of my house. Ooh, a bit fire. Always makes things more interesting. So get out! You owe me four grand. That's without the interest, which is rising daily. And you'll get it. We've sold the house, haven't we? Or can you not read the sign outside? <laughs> That's not how it works, Joseph. I want a payment today. Or I might have to have words with your nearest and dearest. Gorgeous little piece of your daughter, isn't she? I'll see you later. Very impressive. Thank you. What price do you have in mind? Excuse me. Hello? It's me. Oh, come on up. Well, I need to speak to Jason, but we think about 80. Sounds about right. Especially the way you've done it up. Mm. Dad, this is... Sorry, I didn't get your name. Rick. Rick's interested in buying the flat. 
Really? Tina tells me you helped do it up. Top work. You think so? Did you want something, Dad? Uh, my wallet. I've, uh, I've lost it. Uh, any chance it might be here? Well, I've not seen it. Tie it away. I'm, I'm busy. Well, it'll only take a minute to look. You don't mind, do you? Carry on. Will you look in the bedroom? Did you go in there? I think so, to check the window. Oh, OK. Excuse me. What the hell are you playing at? Looks like your daughter's about to come into some money. No, no. It's a boyfriend. She won't make a penny. It's not what she tells me. Joint owner, she reckons. No sign. Sorry. Oh, well, must be in the house somewhere. Hi there. Best get off. Might come back for another look. That OK? Any time. I work in the shop downstairs. Don't, don't, um, commit yourself to old. I wasn't. I'll be seeing you then. Thank you. Thanks. Bye now. Smell of the mints won't hide how much you are from the missus. Get off me! Where's my money? Seventy quid. I need them. Let me explain the position you're in here, Joey. This, this doesn't even pay one day's interest. That's ridiculous. I'll be back Friday. That's my wedding day. Tell you what, then. There's a wedding present from your Uncle Rick. I'll let you off the hook. Hey? You won't owe me anything anymore. I'm not with you. It's fine. Little Tina's a much better bet. You go near her and I'll kill you! Predictable to the end. If you don't want me or some of my friends calling on her, you know what to do, don't you? Straight down to business, is it? Well, fine. I have other things I'd rather be doing as well. We agree. I owe you four grand. I give you that, and we're done, right? And you've got it, have you? Whether I have or not. Four grand, yeah? Well, I'd have to go and set the books. <laughs> Do me a favour. Last book you read was Noddy and B. Yes, four grand. Do you want it or not? Cash. In your hand. Now. But that's an end of it. We're straight. And you can forget about interest. You're not getting another penny. Uh -uh. I want you say it. You're telling me you've done the maths and four grand makes us straight? OK. I believe you. Real are they these? You haven't got one of them little printing presses. I don't ever want to see you again. Hey. Hey. <laughs> My mum says she was wrong about you. Think you've got a new member of your family? How much champagne has she had? I'm just going to look. Hello, Joe. What are you doing here? Thought I'd drop by and wish the happy couple all the best. First drink on the house, is it? I paid the debt. I gave you the last I owed you, £4,000. After telling me you had no money? I borrowed it. Borrowing to pay back what you owe? Great way to kickstart the economy. We agreed we're through, so leave me alone. Unfortunately, there's still the matter of interest to pay off. Now, I reckon... Five hundred pounds a week for the next ten weeks or so. To us. Five thousand? I'm not paying you five grand in interest. Did you know? And it's interesting, this. The courts operate a compensation level. Like a broken limb is worth five grand. You're threatening to break my legs. I didn't say that. 
You keep your eyes off of my daughter. She's such a pretty girl. Congratulations, go thanks. Keep your eye on Sunday for me whilst we're gone. Yeah, of course we're all back. No, I mean it, Jason. Oh. Look after her. You okay? Hi, David. Hi. Don't burn the house down while I'm away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to getting away. Shame we have to come back. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Would you like to go away and never come back? Leave it all behind you? No, I don't. Shall I wait for you here, Bill? I'll meet you in the Rovers. Now I'm at the yard. Uh, Jason's gone for a cake or something. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. I've got work lined up. I'm sorting getting money up front. Hello, Rick. Nice to see you. He'll have money, but not right now. Right now? It's payday, Joe. I can't give you what I don't have. True. So I'll pop back at eight. I should give you time. Just a few more days. I'll see you at eight. And don't be late. Joey boy! Oh, please. Got my money, have you? I haven't, no. Well, so what are we going to do then? Well, you just have to, I don't know, but I haven't got it. You know what happens now then, don't you? Look, I'll get it for you. Just give me some time. I've heard that before. Time's up. There's people watching, I'll shout. And the cavalry will come, but too late for you. Get in! No, I know working in a cafe might not sound right exciting. Doesn't know. <laughs> but there's never a dull moment, especially with Roy. <laughs> <laughs> you want any more soup, Ty? No, thanks. It's nice in that I'm just not hungry. No, it's OK. Won't be insulted. Uh, another beer? Mm. No, I'm going to go in a minute. No. No, not yet. We've got Shut up. Shut up a minute. Chez? Don't tell us to shut up. There's somebody outside. Well, I didn't hear anything. What, in the yard? Yeah. Well, don't you go out there. I'm not going to. Don't worry, I'm going to go. No, it must have been a cat. in a practice meeting. She could be back at any minute. You are running away from your responsibilities. I am going to sort this out. I'm pleased to hear it because my patience is running out. And you don't seem to understand the seriousness of your situation. Well, I understand. But you have to stay away from my family. When the debt is settled. OK, OK, listen to me. We can sort this out like two civilised blokes. I don't have anything for you now, but... But I have got a project on the go and it is going to pay out big time. And I'm supposed to believe you. Well, you can beat me up. Put me in hospital, but that's not going to get you money. I want this over. And I've worked out a way to make it happen. All I need is a week and a promise that this is between me and you, not me family. And what if I come back next week and you've got a new story for me? I won't. I guarantee it. Morning. Joe in. Sorry. This about the house. You uh, expecting him back? What are you that can't view the place, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry, mate. It's off the market now. <laughs> Was that a yes or a no? Also, it's not about the house. Where can I find him? Why, well, he's got away for a few days. A few days? Yeah. You some kind of man. Give him a message, will you? Tell him whenever he's back, I'll be waiting. 
What's this about? Just give him the message, eh? And tell him Rick's not happy. Okay.